Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Kyla Ganton and here's the seafood news for Monday, January 4th, 2016. The Portuguese market is booming for salt cod, but raw material availability could hinder profitability this season. A national specialty, salt cod is typically sold dried salted or frozen desalted for retail use. Norway is Portugal's main competitor in the dried salted market on both price and supply because they process straight from the source in the Atlantic. Recent raw material shortages have pushed retail products up 20% from last year, raising about a euro for the 300 to 400 gram size. Triangular trade in the 1700s brought salt cod to Brazil as well. We spoke to a large Portuguese processor whose business has shrunk by three to four containers per month as a result of the devaluing Brazilian economy and currency. The influx of Chinese pr processed salted products for export to Portugal, Norway and Brazil creates further competition for the traditional salters. 300 to 400 gram Chinese processed loins are at $6.20 per pound US CFR EMP right now. Retail packs head to the Portuguese and bulk packs are for reprocessing for re distribution. Emerging markets in North America are beginning to create new opportunities on frozen desalted products as reported by New York food aficionados. For now though, European buyers should prepare for further price hikes as we continue to hear of raw material shortages, especially on smaller sized products. Our Tradex Live offer of the week is for 2 to 5 ounce IQF sockeye salmon portions. These are number one quality, skin on, wild caught in Alaska, and are available in Seattle for only $2.75 per pound. Click or tap the icon above to view this offer. Finally, a quick forecast for the upcoming Pacific cod fishery in the Gulf of Alaska. A season opens on January 1st for pot and jig gear, and we are anticipating a season similar to the tail end of our current season. To date, in 2015, 46.4 million pounds of Pacific cod have been harvested in Kodiak, Chignac, and the salt South Alaska Peninsula. We have heard that grounds prices are already higher year to year, but no concrete accepted pricing has been set. Higher grounds pricing and short supply translate to a spike in the once frozen market. Large affiliates in particular are difficult to find right now, and prices have jumped anywhere between 30 and 40 cents since June. Midsummer pricing on single frozen 816s was at the 315 mark, trending upwards to the 345 mark in November. If you can find offers now, we have seen prices as high as $4 per pound. As with many other fisheries, we anticipate small fish again in 2016, which will continue to pressure the availability of larger fillets. As the gap spreads between once and twice frozen products, some buyers may use Chinese processed product to meet demand. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This is Kyla Ganton. Buy smart and eat more seafood.